Hey everybody, welcome to Northwoods Engineered. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the installation of this rear view camera system that I just got from my cargo trailer camper conversion. Uh, Halo View is a company that makes camera systems for vehicles and they reached out to me and asked if I'd wanna test this one out. So they sent it to me to use on my trailer. Uh, it's got a wireless camera with magnets on it so it mounts directly to the back of the trailer. Uh, my trailer is aluminum, but I put a steel plate on there for mounting purposes. And then it connects wirelessly to the display that you put in the cab of your vehicle. So I'll show you how I install it and then also some usage of it and uh, the features that the camera has. So thanks for watching the video today. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more content of mine. And uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. So here I have all the contents uh, from the from the box unpacked. So the camera is a Halo View BT Handy 7. So it's 7 inch screen, uh, 1080p. Um, and in the box are the display, uh, the power cord. You've got, this is like a, a sun shield that attaches to the display. There is this mounting bracket. It comes with uh, knobs for mounting the display too. And then there's also uh, this mounting arm so it has a, a suction cup on the bottom and actually has an adhesive on there and then a clamp to suction or there's also these little mounts that have VHB on the back that would snap right onto that arm and then you have the camera um, I've also already installed the, the antennas came loose for the camera and the display I've put those on already charger for the camera because that's wireless so you need to charge that up and then mounting plates. So these are little metal mounting plates to screw onto the back of what will be, uh, what I'll use as my trailer. So that's, my trailer's aluminum, so I need to put a steel plate on. So it has adhesive and then also comes with a couple screws. So uh, yeah, so uh, looking through everything, uh, looks to be pretty good quality. Um, and we will move on to the installation. So to install the camera on the back of my trailer, I was gonna use that metal plate that came with the kit and I installed it on here, but there's an issue with my trailer is that there's a lip right here and the magnet is high up on the back. So it can't go low enough to get, it, it sits there, but it, it's pretty loose. So it's an issue with my trailer, not so much the, the plate. So instead I fabricated, I just took a piece of angle iron steel, put a gasket on the back, drilled a couple holes, and then I'm gonna mount that with some screws. And there's also a magnet on the bottom of the camera, so it'll sit on a shelf right there and it'll be a little bit more secure. So to mount the camera in my pickup, uh, I don't really wanna have a permanent installation. I don't wanna drill into anything on my dash and I don't wanna use the, the sticky mount because um, I'm worried I won't be able to get it off. So I'm just gonna take a, a board that I cut uh, so that kind of fits right in my uh, front center console area. And then I'm gonna screw this bracket to it and then you can take the camera in and out easily. So turn the camera on, fully charged. Plugs into the cigarette lighter. Oh, there we go, I had to turn on the, the cord. There we go. Rear view camera. Signal's working. Okay, so here I'll show you the different functions on the camera all the menu options. So all the buttons are on the right hand side here. Uh, each button has two functions uh, and it's different if you press it once quickly or press and hold it. So the top one, if you press and hold, it turns the lights on on the camera. 
second one here, press and hold that, that'll turn on the parking lanes, the backup parking lanes. This one here turns the microphone on and off, so the camera has a mic on it, so you can hear if anything's going on back there. This one, I'm not gonna press it, but if you press and hold, it goes to pairing mode if you need to pair a camera. Uh, when I got the, the camera and display, it came paired, so I didn't have to do that. And then this one, it's the menu button and then also like a radar sensing function, which I do not have. Uh, you need another piece of equipment to use that. And then the power button. If you press and hold the power button, it just goes into night mode. So it's not off, it's just the display is off. So you press it once and it comes back on quickly. So use this button to go into the menu and then you use the pluses and the minuses to move between and then the arrow to enter. So. You've got your volume adjustment, your pairing, your picture, so your brightness and your contrast, um, and color and, and your camera LED, you can turn on and off in there. And then your mirror function, so this is where you change the view of the camera. So right now I have it as if you're looking into your rear view mir mirror. You can also flip it upside down um, if you have the camera installed upside down um, and the mirror function for that as well. And then this would be like if your camera is facing out uh, front of your vehicle. So I keep it on this for, for rear view mirror mode. Then you can have up to four cameras with this uh, system. And this is where you set up the configuration of them on the screen. Oops that and then you've got your settings uh, different settings for the camera uh, you've got your scan for different channels you got your parking lanes which you can do from the, the click button here as well and then this camera can also record just right here so it takes a micro SD card and, and you can record uh, whatever you're looking at and then also play it back. So it takes a little bit to get used to the buttons, but once you use it a few times, it's easy to figure out. All right, it's the maiden voyage of the camera. Got it installed. Gonna turn it on. It's on now and we're gonna be driving about 200 miles see how it does all right here we go cameras on in the front of the truck it's got a pretty nice clear view at the back so we've been driving for about 45 minutes uh, first on a dirt road for a little bit and then uh, some county roads and state roads that were a little bit bumpy and as you can see it's winter time it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now uh, we've had a good connection the whole time and you can see the bars in the upper left uh, my truck and trailer from here to the camera is probably about 30 feet. Um, the camera's rated for more than that, but it has been a good signal, signal this entire time. Uh, initially, when we turned it on, there's lights on the camera. There's a little symbol up here at the top. Uh, I didn't realize it, but then we noticed it, so we turned that off. That should help save battery. And then at nighttime, if we need it, you can turn that back on. So I've got about a little over three more hours to go and we'll see if the battery lasts the whole time. All right, we made it home after the first trip. Camera, it's at two bars left on battery and it's still there, so that's good. Didn't fall off, had a good, good strong connection with that uh, magnet. So it worked pretty well. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm looking at my truck window right now. It's fairly dark. It's not pitch black out, but it's fairly dark out. And the camera still showing pretty good light. So it's pretty good at gathering light in dark conditions. I can still see pretty well. So that's pretty nice. It is now 7.30. We've been home for a couple hours and I left the camera, I left the camera on it's down to one bar of battery. So that was from 12.30 to 7.30, so seven hours. So I'd say expect it to run eight or nine hours. It's now 
seven thirty in January, so I'm looking out the window of my truck. It's pitch black outside. I turn the camera on and look at that that view. That's pretty amazing. There's no lights on at all. So there is a light, which I'll turn on now, the upper right button, press and hold. So you can see the change there. So it kind of lights up right behind. And I can actually see the overall area a lot better if I have the light off, which I'll turn off there. So look at how good I can see. That's pretty cool. So I've got to back up my trailer now into uh, the parking spot. And that's uh, going to be pretty handy to have this camera so I don't run into any of those trees. So after using the camera for a while, I wanted to give a few highlights of the product. It's got great responsiveness. We experienced very little lag while using it. It's got a strong signal. The specs is 984 feet line of sight and 65 feet for vehicles, which is more than I need. The monitor is very bright and very clear. It's got 1080p resolution. The camera has the ability to record, which could come very handy for some people. It's got the backup lines and the audio, which could be very helpful when backing up the trailer, especially into tight camping spots. And my favorite feature is the night view. It amazed me how well you could see at night with no extra lights, although it does have lights on the camera that you can turn on and off. The setup couldn't have been much easier. I love that the camera runs on battery and I didn't have to run any extra wires. I'm excited to keep using this and to have it from now on when using my trailer.